this is where the Hesperus is going to spend the winter, more than likely, unless one of you fellers comes up and says, that's mine. Here's your money. Where's the pink slip to that? So I'm going to look for a, I want to see if I can stretch a tarp. And I'd like to make some couplers for, see those ridges up there. I'd like to have something that just cut the other side. And that way you could put a rope in it without putting any holes in your containers. There's nothing wrong. And these uh, containers, I sure don't want to put any holes in them either. But these are one trippers. They came in with a load. Uh, the forklift drivers hit them once very lightly somewhere. And uh, I bought them. I love the one, the one shackle door. Makes it easy for us old people. That's a real cool feature. And nothing lives in there. I mean, uh, the cats patrol the undercarriages. Make sure that nothing lives under there. And we keep the cats well fed. They got it heated. We got a heated den, the cat head. The cat house has uh, those compartments are heated for the winter. And they double up and stuff in them too. Uh, there's six cat holes in that. And anyway, I just thought you might, I just got, I guess got carried away. The cat patrol's out. Uh, Pierre's checked the bus out already. So anyway, uh, this is uh, between the two containers. And I mowed under there. Uh, I brought the side that has the uh, Thermal King in. I left it because I got the water pump and a fuel pump for it coming. That's a very important part of this build is how that Thermal King engine heats up your Detroit if you're in the cold, mate. It keeps you warm too. And plus, the, the reason that you run <coughs> refrigerant air conditioning uh, while you're running in the winter is to dehumidify the air inside the bus. Man, this baby's got the biggest dehumidifier on it you ever did see. And it's just so set up to be electronically controlled with uh, what was the conventional refrigeration controls. But it definitely, we're hunting a <clears throat> Thermal King compressor for the back of the Thermal King because uh, it has another job to do. While you're out there trying to, trying to beat somebody in a hill climb, you know, he, He's doing 28 and you know you got him. He's only a half a mile <laughs> in front of you and you got a, you got a half a mile uh, speed difference. Now there's a race, mate. I remember him when I was a kid in the big trucks. God, 318, whipped the crap out of a 220 Cummins. No doubt about that. And that's exactly what this is. This is the 318 and one of those hay rigs when I was a kid. That little Cummins truck is a good truck. Yeah, it, it you know it could it had highway speed if you're on the flats, but boy, Harold had beat us every time with that 318 as we were uh, you know pulling a load of cows out of the I think it was out of it was Northern California where the James Canyon Ranch uh, when they sold out. But uh, anyway, so we'll be I will be making video it's starting to get dark i've got a lot of things to do and we only got so many good days to do it and this gets pretty gushy over here when it gets wet uh, there's this gets pretty gushy over here when it gets wet boy how do i put my fingers over this telephone camera it's the most convenient camera that i have i don't know that it's the best my cameras are as old as any video i got on youtube so yeah, that's probably time to replace one. But, uh, I've been, I've definitely been working on the wheels. The, uh, there's, uh, was some kind of cleaner, no rust. And so I run that in there on that bead around there where the, for some reason, the powder paint. Now one of these wheels, he really got it good, but, but right in here, the powder paint tends to not want to stick like in the corner. There's something, you know, the charge and all that stuff. But uh, it, it, it just isn't 
the kind of rust that uh, it's like <laughs> if it's got a little rust spot on it then you can't it won't rot away at all and i just got through cleaning the dirt and the pansies and stuff out of these wheels and uh oh no block off plates in this bus i had a set when i bought it i didn't know they were there an up and coming video block off plates yuck these are awful things that some of us discovered or you know that they're on there but they severely retard the ride and so i want to show you something that this is up and coming <laughs> all right guys i'll talk to you later